everyone, it's Ross. Today I want to talk about something we haven't talked about yet this year. Blackberries. Um, I may have touched on them, but they didn't get their own video like the raspberries here have been getting. And uh, these have been rock stars for me. Particularly the variety called Caroline, which puts out actually quite a sizable red raspberry. Um, and it's very productive. It has a clear taste advantage over Caroline, I'm sorry, over Heritage, which is right next to it. Uh, but the raspberries, or the blackberries, I'm sorry, have been a bit later in the season to ripen for me. Um, I did get some earlier this year through something called pinching or tipping. You can take the tips off of your blackberries, as you see here. And then it sends out more shoots earlier in the season that will then fruit for you. And this is the second crop. So this is on the Primaking crop. Uh, the first crop I didn't get anything off of because I mowed them over. And that's what you can do with the Primacane varieties. This one's called Prime Arc Freedom. And there's only very few in existence now that were bred by the University of Arkansas. And this, ras this blackberry, I'm sorry, puts out huge, very sweet blackberries. One of them can fit in your entire mouth. Um, any bigger, it had to take two bites out of the thing. So, they're huge. They're really, really good. But I think they're a bit late. You know, even the Primate King crop, cutting them from the base and then letting the primacanes grow and grow. This one got you know away from me here. But you can see I tipped it up there and it should be putting out flowers soon on that cane there. But for the most part, I've tried to keep this thing small and contained and it uh, doesn't really work. Even after cutting the whole thing back to the base. But what's nice is that uh, it does fruit for me here in Pennsylvania. I would like to see if I can find a way to get this blackberry to be a little bit earlier if I can do that I would really really like it and in other years guys I've I've tried other blackberries we had triple crown in here two of them very very productive uh, blackberry triple crown the problem is it doesn't fruit on the new canes, you have to wait the second year to get any fruit off of it. That's not a huge, you know, a huge deal. I don't mind waiting the second year. It's just that it lined up directly with when SWD really came in numbers here on my property last year. So I eliminated that crop completely. It seems like the raspberries put out their first crop and their second crop that kind of dodges all of the SWD. Now we're getting the SWD in the, on the second crop because it's so late in the season. It's been very rainy. Things are starting to ferment. So it's unavoidable, I think, on the second crop, even for the, the Primark Freedoms. You know, they are getting it. They are getting the SWD, but there's ways around that, I think. But for the massive amounts of blackberries I had in this bed last year, I'm talking like 500 easily. 500 blackberries from four plants. I had two prime, two triple crowns, one Primark Freedom, and then on the end I had a Primark 45. And I like the Primark 45 as well. It's just that Primark 45 has thorns. Primark Freedom is thornless, fruits on Primacanes, and it puts out huge, huge fruit. Just absolutely massive fruit. I'm gonna. get you guys a little bit of a comparison here to this Sharpie. Not the best comparison, but you get some kind of an idea here. Very big fruits. So I think this is really all I wanted to talk about, guys. It's just that this blackberry I find to be superior to the other blackberries I've tried. 
Uh, for me, at least in my climate, it dodges the SWD until the very end of the season. If I can get this guy to fruit even earlier by improving my technique of pinching or tipping, um, it'll be even better. And I expect to have raspberry or blackberries here from probably August to the end of the year. And I think that's a decent compromise. Uh, I may look for an earlier ripening blackberry one of the earliest ripening, even before Triple Crown, and I can see if maybe that will avoid the SWD as well. I think there's a few out there, but they're thorned. The thorns are not anything like the, uh, the raspberries here, guys. The raspberries are real easy to deal with, but the, the blackberry thorns are, I think, twice. So who knows what I'll do, but at least for now, I've found myself a really tasty one. Primark Freedom. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this one was enjoyable for you. Take care.